back with uh, Mirko Whitfield of South by Southwest. Mirko, thank you for your patience with us. We had experienced uh, some technical difficulties, i.e. as uh, replacing batteries. Mirko, you were uh, discussing or mentioning uh, what we call in Israel uh, Musica Mizrahit. Yeah, thank you for saying this. Saves me saying it. Musica Mizrahit. Hey, um, love your accent. Thank you very much. But it's one of the problems, you know, if you don't speak Hebrew, you don't speak Arabic, then you will never really understand music, film, or the local culture. And that's true of any culture, of course, yeah. Indeed. So, what I often see here when I come here, or actually when I'm at other festivals, are usually Israeli bands that sing in English, for example, or they'll play, you know... And we have more and more of them. Yeah. And yet, at South by Southwest, what we think often works best are the kind of world music crossover artists where they're bringing a little bit of the sort of flavor of their own country, their own culture. What we call fusion? <clears throat> yes, fusion. And in, yeah. in the case of Israel, confusion? Yes, it's confusion music all the way. <laughs> so like a classic example of people who've become very well known as Balkan beatbox. Of course. Example, yeah. But this is really important, I think, that people always have to bring something to the equation which is different. I mean, there's, Original. Yeah, because if you sound like an American rock group, well, there are thousands of American rock groups everywhere, right? Um, so, you know, you can do anything. You can do, like, hip-hop, rap. Uh, you, you can do it in your own language, and it's still interesting enough. So I think in the past, for example, there have been, like, hip-hop artists from Egypt we've had. We've had heavy metal bands from Iran. Mm -hmm who don't live in Iran, but they, they live in Los, Lan Los Angeles. Because heavy metal is forbidden. Yes, it depends what kind of heavy metal you're talking <laughs> Uranium-235, well... <laughs> hey, good one. Ah, hey. And, witty. Uh, witty, witty, yeah. So that's the sort of thing where, you know, we, we actually, it's quite common now that a lot of the foreign bands who play at South by Southwest are only foreign half of the way because they're actually artists who live in America now, yeah. I mean, if you look at New York or Los Angeles, they have huge communities uh, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So a lot of artists who may have originated in Africa or the Middle East or Asia, they will actually make New York or Los Angeles their home base. That's also true for a lot of uh, artists from South America and Latin America. They'll make their base in Miami, also Los Angeles, you know, and a little bit Austin now as well. There is no secret that... Uh in the recent decade, during the recent decade, South by Southwest established a wonderful reputation as one of the most important places, or the place to be, yeah. when you are an inspiring musician. But it's much more than music now, isn't it? Yeah, about, uh, well, you know, the actual South by Southwest uh, started 27 years ago. And about 18 years ago, we started our interactive and film festivals. Now, the Interactive is actually the largest festival of all the festivals we do. That's about 25,000 people. Amazing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's really... You know, often a lot of these things are a combination of hard work and luck, right? So, uh, I think so six years ago we had Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook as our keynote speaker. And then the next year, Twitter... It wasn't launched at South by Southwest, but it became very well known immediately after it was being launched. And then Foursquare. Uh, the same with the, uh, the film festival. We've have a, always had a, a really strong independence, slightly anarchistic kind of feel. So we would have producers like uh, Spike Lee, Michael Moore, Quentin Tarantino. Robert Rodriguez, you know, Morgan Spurlock, people who are often doing things are just a little bit different. And that's very true of South by Southwest in general. Also for the music, you know, it's, it's much more cutting edge. It's not about mainstream, even though we have very well-known artists who play there, it's still like a, a discovery ground for new artists, you know. Wow. Yeah. Sounds impressive. Sounds like you are trying... Sounds like hard work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sounds like you are trying to show the way. You know, in a way, um, I think one of the interesting things about it is that most of the people who work at South by Southwest actually do have a background in being in their own industry. So I used to work in the music industry. Uh, the, the, the managing director, Roland Swenson, he's from the music industry, used to do tours with bands. Uh, the guy who runs the film festival and the lady who is you know, running the film festival on a daily basis 
both of them are actually from the film industry. Um, so it's a very important thing. Is you know there are a lot In, of people interdisciplinary as well. Yeah, interdisciplinary. <laughs> you said that very well. Uh, interdisciplinary. And I'm, I'm saying it with an Israeli accent. <laughs> I like it. Um, but also, you know. There's a lot of conventions which are organized by exhibition companies, but the people who work there, they have no relationship to music or whatever. I know that many musicians, many Israeli musicians, are every year trying to uh, make it yeah. to South by Southwest. And the number increased uh, tremendously yeah. after your visit last year when you made these uh, speeches, both in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem at the Yellow Submarine. Yeah. And this is the time maybe to thank you, Mirko, oh, for sending this year your colleague yeah. who is dealing with yeah. music. Exactly. Can uh, you tell us a, a bit maybe about Todd's impressions? Well, this was Todd Bookhaber who, um, who came over literally, I think, 10 days ago or so, yeah, before I came over. I haven't had a, really had a chance to speak to him you know, since he's got back because mm -hmm. I've been traveling. Mm -hmm. But uh, Todd is the guy who puts on a lot of the world music and, and some jazz stuff and some other stuff as well. So he has actually, over the years, put in a number of groups from the whole area. Okay? So we've had like, groups from Ghana, groups from Egypt, um, Turkey. He tends to be responsible for that. So he knows the music uh, genres here quite much better than I do. And um, I had a very quick talk with him just before I left. He said he had a great time. So, well, you know, we can't ask for we more. We can't do more now. Mirko, what can we wish you? What can we wish South by Southwest? What can we wish you both? Well, uh, whatever you like. <laughs> now, I think the most important thing is, you know, was one very important thing about South by Southwest, which I think is actually quite important in the whole sort of geopolitical uh, sort of discussion that goes on here, is always to inspire people. And that's what South by Southwest is really good. So I, you know, we're always looking for things that are inspirational, so that when they do come to South by Southwest, they inspire other people. So if you can deliver me that, that's good. Oh, wonderful. Mirko, we wish you all that and much more than that. Thank you, Ariel. Come and visit us again. I will, for sure. Good luck, Todarabah, and Shalom. Yes, Shalom. <laughs>